Hey guys, welcome back to The Vanity, it's Jennifer. Today what we're gonna do is a review of a brand called Chic Republic. It is sold exclusively, I think, on Amazon. They have a combination of skincare products, body products, and also like makeup brushes. So let's just go ahead and get into it. First off, I think what I'm gonna start off with is the makeup brushes. Those are the items that I purchased myself. And I am so sorry guys, these brushes are dirty because I've been using them. But these, not that one, these are the brushes from Chic Republic. Again, they have multiple sets now on Amazon that you can purchase. This one that I got was a 10-piece brush set. They gave me a, it was like running a deal where you got this makeup sponge in addition to it for free. And that was $11.99. Separately, I purchased this dual-ended complexion brush and that was $11.99. So first off, I have to start off with the sponge. This thing is terrible. I'm sorry to start off on a bad note, but I just don't like this sponge whatsoever. They just didn't hit the mark with the um, texture of this sponge, although it kind of seems like it's bouncy. It honestly has too much texture on the actual surface of the sponge, and when you get it wet, it doesn't get very, very soft. So I much prefer the Beauty Blender, the L'Oreal sponge, or um, even the Real Techniques, little weird-shaped guy like this. Those are all much softer, have a very finer texture on the actual surface of the sponge, so I wouldn't recommend this sponge. Um, because it was a freebie, it's not really a big deal, but I did just want to throw that in there that I do not recommend this. Now the next um, items that we'll talk about is the face type brushes out of the brush set. So again it comes with 10 pieces. You get five of the face brushes and five of the eye brushes. Now it did come with a little card like this that tells you how they recommend you use each brush. You can certainly follow that. I did for the first little while and then I just decided to start using them on my own. The first one on their little list, um, these are just all considered like kabuki brushes. One thing that I do have to note about all of these face brushes is they're not very dense. Like this kabuki brush that we're talking about here, it's not as dense as even the e.l.f. brushes. They are soft, they are cruelty free. So this they recommend, it's their Flawless Mineral Kabuki Brush. It says with soft round tapered bristles, this brush is designed to provide sheer to medium coverage when using your favorite powder formulas, foundation, blush, and finishing powders. I um, would not use this for blush, and it's kind of too small, I think, for finishing powders. I was using it to set my under eyes and things like that. It's not a bad brush, to be 100% honest with you, but it's not very densely packed, so I would not typically grab something like this for foundation, especially heavier foundations. I feel like BB creams, lighter weight foundations, um, this is gonna do a pretty good job with. They are fairly lightweight. They do have the rose gold, um, I don't know if this is called the ferrule part of it, I believe, and then they're just black with the printed Chic Republic on them. The next one is their Flat Buffing Kabuki Brush. This high density flat buffing brush is ideal for layering your favorite foundation formulas to gain a medium to high coverage yet achieving a natural and even finish. I did do a chit chat get ready with me. I used this brush to put on the foundation that I'm wearing today. Um, to be honest, it's not my favorite foundation brush, but it does work with some of my foundations. It is, I would not say it's super densely packed at all. I got a set off of, yeah, because even compared to the e.l.f. one, I don't feel like it's as dense. You can see there. And then I got a set off a of health look from Morphe and these are way denser than that. So like I said, it's not terrible, but it's not one that I'm gonna keep grabbing for after I've done this review. I will probably, sorry, they are dirty. Cause like I said, I've been using them, but I'll probably pass them on to somebody else. Now the next one on the list, I actually did enjoy quite a bit but I do have other brushes like this. This is their Flat Angled Contour Brush. I've been using this with my uh, Makeup Forever Cream Contour Kit and I feel like it's been working really, really well. It applies the product really great, really evenly. It's almost goof proof. I use it for the contour, for the highlight, and for the blush. And I've just been like tapping the blush on and then I'll do the highlight last. So it kind of blends the two together. 
but this says it's their flat angled contouring brush blend cream blushes and bronzers into the cheekbones and contours of your face for a flawless high definition look this actually like i said was my favorite out of the foundation-y type brushes it worked really really well i'll keep this one and continue to use it i do like that one the next one on the list actually is not bad either it is their tapered contouring brush so you'd be able to get right into the hollows of the cheek. This one actually feels more densely packed than any of the other brushes. It's a really good contour brush. So this one is a, is a good brush. It says it's their dense bristles and tapered tip make this brush ideal for highlighting with blushes, bronzers, and illuminators. I did not use them for that purpose. I would not put um, highlight on with this because that would really just kind of go all over the place. But it did work for contouring, it could work for bronzing, but really honestly what I would do with it is when I was done, as you can see this is a little dirty on the tip, after I bronzed up my face I would dip it into my powder contour if that's what I was using, and just contour a little bit there to deepen up that look. Or you could use it with your cream bronzer, or cream contour, and I feel like that would work really well too. Last up is their Angled Blush Brush. I did not use this for blush whatsoever. Um, this to me seems a little bit more densely packed than their foundation brush, and that's what I honestly used it for was foundation. But their description says, designed for a perfectly seamless application along the contours and hollows of the cheeks. Achieve custom results from a natural soft finish to a precise, highly structured look. So I feel like this one is, it's definitely good. I wouldn't use it for blush unless you were gonna use like cream blush or something like that. I wouldn't use it for powder blush personally, but um, I feel like it's a pretty good foundation brush. It definitely would be good for contouring, things like that. Um, so all in all, I feel like, you know, three out of the five face brushes are pretty good. So for the price point of $11.99, even just for these is not bad, but you also get five eye brushes with it. So let's move on to the eye brushes. The first one, which is definitely dirty, I used my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette with this, is the small tapered contouring brush. I'm not gonna contour nothing with this. The essential brush for contouring with its tapered shape and pointed tip, the expert brush allows for easy, precise product placement. Um, honestly, I don't know what you're contouring with this. This thing is super, super tiny. I actually use it more of like a pencil brush because it does come to quite a bit of a, of a point. So I've just been using it under the eye to just get in there. It kind of smokes it out and it's kind of like a detail brush. I'll continue to use this one, but I don't think their description does it really any justice for what you're going to use it for, but it's not a bad brush. Then the next one, which actually looks pretty clean, is their flat stipple brush, or stippling brush. So it says a small size stippling brush for applying liquid foundation, concealer, powder, blush, and bronzer to small or hard to reach areas of the face. I don't know, no. That's not gonna happen. I really didn't even use this brush at all, really. I would think of this more of like an eye brush, or you could use like a cream highlight if you wanted to do that. But I don't wanna spend that much time. Like who's gonna put on foundation unless maybe you want like a detail brush to get like around your nose if you have a hard time with that. I could maybe see it, but for me, this one doesn't really work out. So I, I think that's just kind of like a toss in brush for me. The next one is their blending eyeshadow brush. As you can see, I've been using this one. It is dirty. It's designed to effortlessly blend your eyeshadow and softer, harsh lines. Also a great tool for applying bold, shimmery shadows for a soft, focused effect. Um, this brush, as you can see, is a little bit wonky. It's got a, like a defect or something with the actual wand of it. But the good thing is, is it doesn't roll around on my desk. So maybe this mistake is something that they should pick up on. Just putting a little bend in it so they don't roll anymore. Because mine, they'll roll all over my desk. But anyway, I've been using this just in the crease to blend out shadow. Is it my favorite blender brush? No. Is it a pretty good one? Yeah, it's not bad. The next one, to be honest, I really couldn't figure out how to use this one. I just don't understand why some of these brushes they put in there. But this is called the Precision Flat Angled Brush, a firm angled and flat brush for accurate application of concealers and correctors. Works particularly well around the eyes and nose area. Again, it kind of goes with the flat stipple brush. I don't think I'm going to get much use out of that. The only thing I could see is maybe using it to like 
pat in concealer or something like that, like on a blemish. But I didn't really have, like I wasn't really finding a good use for this brush. The last one is the small angled contouring brush. It says the soft angled edge is great for applying highlighters to the cheekbone or eyeshadow softly to the lid. This one, again, it just, I don't, I don't really use angled eyeshadow brushes like this. I feel like as far as the way that it feels, it feels pretty good. It's not too dense. I can't see myself putting highlighter on with this. It's just too small. It's gonna take up too much time. It's not gonna sort of blend out the contour or the highlighter very well, like diffuse it because it's so small. But I could see using it for, you know, your eyes and things like that. So all in all, what I have to say, my final thoughts on the brush set. I think for the price point, it's definitely worth it to pick it up if you want some extra face brushes, things like that. You get enough good ones out of here to make up for these. I don't think that they did a very good job at thinking through what type of makeup brushes they were going to put with a kit. Like, this could be a really awesome kit if they would swap out some of these brushes. Like, I would keep these two and get rid of these, get like a small shader brush, um, something that you can get really close up to the eye with. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, something like this little Aveda brush that I have. Something really small you can get underneath the eye with. And um, do something similar to like this Coastal Sense brush, like a fluffier blending brush or something similar to like an E40. Um, even like an, an angled eye brush, something like that, I feel like would be a better option for a 10-piece brush kit. I feel like some of these, like the flat ones and the angled ones, do the same job. And the next item that I got was the dual-ended brush. It's their number 11 dual-ended complexion brush. I was really hoping that this would be something that I would be able to like toss in to go camping and I wouldn't need to bring any face brushes. So the one side's got this really densely packed, I don't even know what to kind of call it. It... The shape is like no other brush that I have. It says that you're supposed to, let me get out my little notes here, achieve a flawless complexion with just one brush. Simplify your beauty routine with this multi-purpose complexion brush specifically designed to apply powders, creams, and liquid products with ease. The small tapered brush head precisely applies liquid foundation, concealer, contouring, highlighting products, while the large custom buffing brush, which is this side, Flawlessly blends blush, bronzers, and your favorite powders. So this, I agree with, this side is good for putting on like a cream contour. You can get like a nice line. This one, you can use it to like blend it out. Like if you move the little thing up, you could use, this is a little bit more densely to like buff it in. As far as applying like blush and powder with this, it's almost too firm. Like it doesn't have enough play in it for me to want to use it for that. Yeah, because see, like it's just got too much play in it for foundation. Um, and then it's got not enough play for the blush. I think in a pinch, it would do you just fine. So I think I am still gonna toss it uh, in with my camping stuff and just keep it in the camper for my like quick makeup stuff that I do there. But it's not something that I would put in my purse, you know, for like if I'm out and about and I really like have to like have my makeup game look flawless, this would not be the brush. I think the price point for what it is is a little bit high for me um, because you can get this whole brush kit for $11.99 and then this was $11.99. I feel like though when I bought it, this was only like $9.99, but when I checked it out on the website, currently it's like $12. But if you guys are into these brushes, like I said, the quality is pretty good, but I'm not finding um, too, too much of a use for it. Like I couldn't imagine putting like concealer under my eyes with this. It's just really dense and like hard, but I can see the, the liquid con or the cream contour or something like that. But the one thing I wanted to mention about the 10 piece set is they say that it's a hun uh, 10 essential cult makeup brushes for face, cheek and eyes, ultra soft, premium, synthetic, Teclon bristles modern statement with the black and silver hairs and the rose gold um, feral on it includes a bonus complexion beauty sponge which it's not really a bonus. It talks about like it's, it's a synthetic hair and it's 100% cruelty free. As far as this complexion brush here I feel like the makeup brushes on this are a little bit better quality. This one says that this slim elegant and versatile design is handmade from premium materials for ultimate control plus the ultra luxe Teclon bristles are 100% cruelty free and non 
irritable on the skin and this one advertises no shedding which I haven't had a problem with this one shedding but the other ones do shed a little bit and this says it's vegan cruelty free bristles so if that interests you that is definitely a selling point on it so that's um, just my sort of overview of that blush uh, brush collection I feel like it's it's pretty good for the money but I'm not gonna run out and buy it again. There are certain brushes in here that I am definitely gonna continue to use, and um, I'm gonna throw that one in my camping bag. So let's go ahead and get into the skincare body products that I was sent. Okay, so again, the line is called uh, Chic Republic. They, I just wanna mention, are all made in the USA. They're paraben-free, 100%, cruelty-free, and hypoallergenic. All of them have the benefits of charcoal in them that I'm going to move forward and talk about. So it says, why activated charcoal? Activated charcoal is carbon that has been infused with oxygen to increase the absorbency. It works to draw out entrapping toxins and impurities with magnetic effect, releasing clogged pores and breathing life into your skin again. It also works as a natural exfoliator to remove dead skin cells with antimicrobial properties to help prevent skin infections. And again, it says we are proudly made in the USA, plus our products are formulated without parabens, sulfates, phthalates, and are gluten-free, dye-free, and cruelty-free. So that goes for all of the following products that I'm gonna talk about. So let's go ahead and start with the body wash. This is the body wash here. Again, as I've said in the past when I reviewed the face wash. I really just love their packaging. I feel like it's very simple. It's very clean. It looks expensive even though it's not and it looks high end. I just really like it. I think they did a good job at just keeping it clean. On their website I did notice or on Amazon they are coming out with more products. So they have this detox line but then I see that they're starting to come out with another one. So be on the lookout for more products from them if you are interested after this video. So this detox body wash it's exfoliating and detoxifying body wash and this retails for $15.99 let's see you do get eight fluid ounces in here I've had it for quite some time and um, I don't use it every day but I definitely use it when I feel like my skin needs a little bit more of a detox so let's read about this particular product. It's uh, skin purifying and deeply cleans pores by gently working deep into the skin. The three key ingredients of this charcoal body wash absorbs toxins, gently buffs away dead skin cells, and moisturizes dry skin. Those three key ingredients are the activated coconut charcoal, white lava, and organic aloe vera extract. The exfoliating properties come from the white lava beads. White lava contains silica, magnesium, calcium, titanium, and sodium, which helps heal your skin and ensures effective absorption. It gently eliminates dead skin, encourages cell turnover. This body wash gently removes dirt and small blemishes from the body. And you're gonna rejuvenate and moisturize with the organic aloe extract. It hydrates, moisturizes, and heals your skin while also providing anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties for your skin. So I um, really agree with that. I use it a lot. I tend to break out a little bit back here, like not where you can see pimples, but those little like hard things that get underneath the surface. When I've been tanning a lot lately, I feel like it's happening more and more with my skin. This also has like the little grits in there, which is like the lava, so it's exfoliating at the same time. It has a nice, it's hard to um, explain the scent. I don't think, that it has perfume in it. Oh yeah, it does. It has a little bit of fragrance. But it's the very last ingredient in there. And I guess that would be why it smells so light. Like, it's so light and refreshing. It's very neutral too. So, you know, if you're a guy and you're concerned that this is going to smell too girly, it, it absolutely doesn't. It does have more of a feminine smell to it. I do have to say that. But it's not very strong. It's just like a nice, light, clean smell. And the body wash itself is black. So I'm going to just dump a little bit out here into my hand. So as you can see, it is this color. It has like the little beads in it. It's almost, well, I guess it is kind of more of like a jelly, like stickier consistency. So you can see it there on the close up. It does have like little grits in it. It does foam up just a tiny bit. It doesn't get like real lathery, but it does foam up. So you're not gonna have like a body wash that doesn't foam up. And I use it with a loofah and you can still feel the beads in there. 
um, work in their magic, exfoliating your skin. So I really like this. Unfortunately, I feel like the $15.99 price point is a little bit high for me for body wash. It's something that I, body wash is something that I struggle paying a lot for. I just feel like it's just all going down the drain. You know, um, this at least is doing a little bit something for you. It's exfoliating and detoxifying your skin as opposed to just cleaning it, I guess. But um, I feel like it's, if, if you're not using it every day, it's not so bad because I've had it for quite a long time. And actually an eight ounce size is pretty big, but compared to like the oil of a layer, things like that, that you can get at the drugstore, I feel like the price point is high. But if you have problematic skin and you've tried things and they're not working, then you know, you might want to give this a try swapping it into your routine. So that is their body wash. The next item on the list that we're going to talk about is one of my favorite items. It's their activated coconut charcoal body scrub. Comes in a big tub like this. I have to say mine is just about gone and I will be ordering another one because I love this scrub. It's like completely black inside. You can see the bottom of the thing. But the smell um, is similar to the body wash but it's not 100% like the body wash. It is um, still very, very light. It's not going to linger all day on your skin. So there's that. Let's talk about what they say about this body scrub. Okay, so again, this is the activated coconut charcoal body scrub. It retails for $16.99. You do get eight fluid ounces in here. It's their exfoliating body scrub with natural sugar granules, removes tired skin, blackheads, and tightens using naturally derived sugar granules. They work deep into the skin to remove dirt, buffing and polishing to smoother, more revitalized, firmer looking skin. Enriched with anti-aging and moisturizing oils, the organic scrub is infused with grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and jojoba beads, along with other essential oils. Healthier skin with natural plant extracts packed with aloe vera, shea butter, and a variety of plant extracts, vitamins, and minerals for brighter, healthier skin. I, like I said, I absolutely love this body, body scrub, and it's like almost gone. I'm going to show you a little bit here. So again, it is black because it has the charcoal in there, but I really love that they use sugar in here because the beads, like this, the grits, are just so fine. And I feel like they do a really good job at exfoliating the stuff on my shoulders where if I am breaking out, it's also going to exfoliate that stuff off. As I've been tanning, I've been just scrubbing down my whole body trying to get that dry tanning type skin off. The one thing that I do have to say about this is it's going to leave a little bit of that gray tinge on your skin. So if you are somewhere where your skin's going to be exposed and you don't want that on your skin, I would highly recommend just using the body wash actually after you use the body scrub because otherwise you are gonna see that. Like if I leave it on my arms, they look dark when I get out of the tub. I tend to put the body scrub on, I let it sit on for a long time, and then I rinse it and I leave the black stuff on until I'm just about ready to get out of the shower and then I actually wash my body so that it's gone. But if I know that I'm gonna be covered up, then I don't wash it off because all that's gonna do is intensify the charcoal pulling that nasty stuff out of my skin. So, and the next one that I want to talk about is the face cleanser. I did use this in my what's the deal with charcoal video. I can link that if you kind of want to see it in action. But this is their all natural activated charcoal facial cleanser. You do get six fluid ounces in here and it retails for $16.99. Let's just go ahead and read a little bit about this. It says activated charcoal cleanser for skin detox. The natural deep cleansing activated charcoal removes toxins by drawing out and trapping impurities, releasing clogged pores. It's a natural exfoliator and has antimicrobial properties that help prevent skin infections antioxidant rich triple T extract, the trio of calming robios, white, and green tea extract combined to work as an antioxidant remedy defending skin from environmental factors. Shield your skin from irritants and inflammation with this enriched face wash by locking in vitamin C, vitamin B5, to build a barrier layer that promotes healing and protection. Moisturizing and revitalizing oil extracts gently hydrate and refreshes the skin using natural ingredients like coconut oil, orange pea oil, and aloe vera gel extracts. So this, I do love this. It's a really um, nice everyday face wash. There's nothing really bad to say about it or anything like that. I don't have to spend too much time on it. It's just a nice face wash. It does not foam up. It's more of like a, it's more on the gel side. It's a little bit creamy as you can see from here. It's just a light gray color and it has 
more of a fresh citrusy type of scent. So it's um, definitely different than the body wash, but again, it's just a face wash, so it's not gonna linger on you like it would if you were using it on your body. Okay, so the last item that I have to talk about, I have to say, was the one that when I got it, I was the most excited to try, and it's their charcoal and French clay powder mask. This does retail for $13.99, and it says you get 3.4 net ounces in here. It is just a powder that you will have to add liquid to it. The interesting thing about this mask is it says, try hydrating your mask with yogurt, soy milk, goat milk, rice milk, fruit or vegetable juice, vinegar, or water with sea salt. Now, the way that I've tried this one is just with plain old tap water, and oh my god, my skin itched so bad. It just, I wanted to take it off so bad, and I did leave it on for the recommended amount of time. I just kind of stuck with it, and it didn't actually cause any irritation to my skin besides for the fact that when I had it on, I just wanted to scratch my face off. It made my skin look fine, and I wasn't irritated at all, but it, it really made it itchy. Now, the second time that I used it, I just put it with plain old 2% milk because that's what I had, and it did much, much better, and I made the consistency a little bit thinner and I didn't leave it on till it was like dry. It still was itchy for me, but um, it was much, much better. So I'm still gonna continue to play around with this one and I would love to try it with yogurt because I feel like that would have more of a soothing effect. But I just wanted to let you guys know that in advance and then we're gonna talk about quick what they say about the product. So it says, must have for the battle against acne, blackheads, large poise, large poise, large pores, excess oil, and impurities. Choose your recipe because powdered clay-based masks can be mixed with numerous different nutritious and skin beneficial liquids, like I just said. Powered with a selection of nature's finest ingredients, activated charcoal, which is detoxifying and deep cleansing. French clay absorbs environmental toxins and dissolves impurities. Vitamin C gives an immediate glow. And spirulina, spirulina, deeply nourishes elantan, elantan? and zinc help calm your skin. I really wish that I should probably go onto like Wikipedia and have them just like pronounce some of these things for me, but uh, I try and just struggle through it. But like I said, um, this one was the one that I was the most excited to try. Unfortunately right now it's not my favorite just because it does make my skin itch so much, but I am gonna continue to use it because I just feel like I've, I've got to find that way that it works good because I love this type of mask and I just really love the idea of it. You could also use it as like a little spot treatment, mix up a tiny bit, put it on like the acne that you're having and have it really just do its magic on those items. They also have a mask that's pre-mixed in a tub. I don't know what the difference of the ingredients are, but I'm going to be trying that one. For sure, when I order my new body scrub, I'm gonna order that one to give it a try. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All in all, my thoughts on everything that I got, I would say if you are in the market for some more makeup brushes, it's not a bad set. They also have other sets available on Amazon. You're gonna find some brushes in the sets that are gonna be duds, I feel like, especially with the one that I got, but you're gonna find brushes that you're gonna to continue to use. As far as the products for your face and body, I would say just go ahead and try whatever you're interested in. Like I said, the products have been good, all the ones that I've tried. The only thing that this one did was make my skin itch, but my skin looked good, so it still was doing what it was supposed to do as long as you could get through that. I highly, highly recommend the body scrub, and um, I would say out of the two, the body wash or the face wash, I would recommend the face wash just because I feel like the body wash for for the price point, it's just a little bit too much for me. But that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I know it's a long one. Thank you so much if you stuck to the end. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Blending eyeshadow. Oh, got grits everywhere. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That was probably not a good idea. See if I can get that off now. Grits.